It's good to have you here. Somebody who is actually actively involved in all of these things and seeing what's coming. You've been doing this for a long time. What do you think? Becky, thanks for having me on the show. And uh, yeah, I have been doing it for quite a while. Um, you know, we're in pretty unprecedented times right now, uh, whether it's in innovation or what's happening, obviously, in the political arena. Um, we're all we're all watching and learning. Um, but I think what's at the, the fundamental core here, what's happening is, frankly, just supply and demand. There is a lot of demand for innovation. Uh, innovation is driving growth. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of yield out there, as we've seen um, in the bond market. So I think there's a a lot of enthusiasm for the opportunities that kind of innovation-based companies are bringing to the market. Um, clearly, uh, there's a lot to learn here over the next several quarters, several years, but I couldn't be more encouraged by the companies that we see in our portfolio in terms of their performance and um, the results that they're delivering. And hopefully that'll translate well in terms of the public markets. In terms of the results they're delivering, is that earnings-based results? Is that getting uh, greater adoption? Is that winning market share? When you're looking at such a, a frenzied time and so much activity and so much that's happened during this pandemic to try and kind of pull through user adoption on many of these issues, what, what to you is the most important metric right now? It's a great question. You kind of have to bifurcate what kind of story it is or what kind of stock it is. Um, some stocks will trade on on the story, on the future potential, and some will trade on fundamentals. And uh, what's interesting in our portfolio, we see both. We have companies that are private. Uh, one company in particular is private that has a billion of revenue and over 100 million of EBITDA. And that's a privately funded company where there's only really two investors in that company. We have other companies that have tremendous future promise. Um, some of the companies in more of the frontier space, like, like aerospace or some of the health tech companies we're in, where you see one, two, three years out, an incredible opportunity. And so the key thing is when you look for uh, traction, you have to make sure you understand as an investor, what are you looking for? Are you looking for uh, milestones um, that will lead to a large business down the road? Or are you looking to quarterly earnings? And we're seeing both um, coming to the market for sure. And it, it, what, what we're seeing, you've talked a lot about SPACs on the show. What we're seeing is that the SPAC is actually unlocking more of these story uh, opportunities to give the public markets access to these companies, which typically they wouldn't have access to them at this point in their growth trajectory. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.